so this example is you know it's it's a it's a, yeah, i think it's a hands on um hands on example on how you can get data from from websites how you can think about what you want and then get data right and through uh you know the brief analysis that we did is you know it was good to see that you know the top grossing movies right they you know they usually have you know between one right and three three words you can see that in their in their movie titles right so if i click one for instance you can see movie title here is 1917 2012 300 abominable aladdin ant-man etc the ones with two words 10,000 BC, 101 Dalmatians, 102 Dalmatians, 8 Mile, etc. If I click three words, 21 Jump Street, 22 Jump Street, 51st Date, The Beautiful Mind, uh, etc. Resident Evil, Afterlife, Scary Movie, Saving Private Ryan. That was an interesting one. So, how do we get there? Uh, I'm going to open a new Power BI uh, workbook. I'm going to go to File and I'll click New. And if you want to follow along, right? If you want to follow along, let me go to not time series webinar. So if you want to follow along, I'm going to share this file. Here is a chat. Sorry, too many noise in the background. Couldn't hear you. So, okay, awesome. I'm going to share a file here for everybody to see, right? That file contains, you know, movie sites, right? It's a note, it's a notepad right the uh, csv file just text it contains you know different sites from which you can pull data from in terms of movies you have detailed imdb top 250 right uh another one imdb top 250 and then the one we're going to work with today is this third one which is box office mojo is also by imdb and it's top lifetime uh grossing movies worldwide and this is a website, this is the site, okay? Um, so if you have that file, all you have to do is copy that link, right? And that's link number three. You copy the link, press Ctrl C, and I just go to my Google Chrome. I paste that link, for instance, so that I, you know, I can see what's, what's in there. And as you can see, you have, you know, top lifetime grosses, box office mojo by IMDB. Uh, you can see Avengers Endgame is the world lifetime top grossing movie, about $2.79 billion, um, out of which almost 70% of its gross earnings came from foreign uh, screenings, right? So this is primarily an American site, right? So when they say domestic here, it means on U.S. soil. And when they say foreign, it means outside the U.S. soil. So in the U.K., in, in China, in Nigeria, those are all foreign um, earnings. So followed by Avatar with $2.7 billion as well. And we have about 1,000 there. However, they're distributed into five, uh, five pages. So we have top 200. Right? And then when you go to the next page, you have the next 201, right? Up to, up to you know, 400. So we're going to start with, uh, we're going to start with the first page here, right? So we're going to start with the first page here. Copy the link as well, right? Control C. Then I go to my Power BI and I click get data, right? If you're not seeing this screen and you are on this screen, for instance, 
you can just get data also from here in your home tab go to get data from here click that but since we open the new one and this screen should show up right so i go to get data and since we're connecting to a website usually when you're connecting to a website and you want to pull data from the website what you're looking for is something that has you know tabular data right data that looks like it's arranged in tables and these are called html tables right i'm not going to go into all the uh web design concepts here but all you need to know is that you can get data from websites that have data arranged in tables right so i'm going to go to my get data here i'm going to type web and then i'll click on web here i double click on it and it's asking me for the url so i paste that url here the one that shows the top 200, right? I paste that URL here and then I click OK. And Power BI is so intelligent in that it can parse the data, that is, it can break down the web page and extract, uh, break down the web page into its components and extract a table from that web page. And if all goes well, you go to document nothing should appear right it tells you right html you go to table zero and look at that same thing that is online you have your rank you have your title you have your world lifetime gross domestic gross percent of domestic gross etc you have the year the movie was released which is pretty cool right so i click on the table i want i check it here and i go to transform data Right, so this transform data um, essentially allows you to shape and reshape data. It allows you to clean it up a little bit. Allows you to, you know, add data to different, you know, add. Yeah, this is the aspect. This is the point where you can add data from, you know, multiple facilities or from multiple departments or, you know, wherever you're getting your data from. And yeah, and take a look at it right here. You can see all of it. I think this is pretty cool. So I'll do this and then I'll name this top 200, right? I press enter. So nothing has been saved yet. I've just, I've just, you know, essentially I've just queried the website. Just like when you go into Google and you ask a question, you are querying the database of Google. So this is what we're doing now. We're, we're querying the website, Box Office Mojo. Um, we're going to go back to the website. I need to get the next 200. So I'll go to the next page. All right. So I copy the link for the next page. All right. I go back into Power BI. And then I go to New Source. All right. So we're within the Power Query Editor here. Same process, I type web, double click web. I paste it in here, say 200 is appended to the end. I click OK. Please wait while we establish a connection to boxofficemojo.com. I love this aspect. I, ch I check, and you have to check it. I check the aspect I want. Since we're within Power, so for instance, you can check your web view here to show that, to check that you're actually on the right page, right? See, this is where you got the data from, right? And then you can go to your table view, 200 all the way to 400, 201 rather. Um, yeah, so I bring that in, click OK. I'll name this one top 201 to 400. And I need to do this just three more times, so bear with me. All right, I go to the next page. So if you are writing a Python script now, for instance, right? If you are writing a crawler, you know, what's called a crawler, it's this is all going to be done once, right? It's just going to go to the next page automatically, get the data, and you know, 
with the time we're taking, which is probably like 10 minutes to get this data, your Python script is going to do it in maybe five seconds. So uh, I copy this, click OK, go back to Power BI, click New Source. I go to web, double click, paste, click OK. So this should be 401 to 600. I click OK, click OK. Two more, top 401 to 600. 